life may have been intense lately, but as chatty Mercury enters Sagittarius, you can feel lighter and brighter. It joins the sun in your travel zone, so you may find that getting away from it all boosts your energy and allows you to recharge. Even so, with the full moon in your sector of communication midweek, feelings could run high, so beware of making any promises you can't keep. And it would be just as well to steer clear of gossip, because it certainly won't help. Attending an event? It could be a boisterous affair. Go easy around Friday, though, as feisty your ruler Mars angles toward Neptune in your spiritual zone. This could coincide with a dip in energy but an increase in imagination and the desire to daydream. Buoyant Jupiter aligns with electric Uranus for much of this week, and this aspect peaks on Sunday. Stay alert for opportunities that could net you a business contract, pay raise, or even unexpected windfall. You're still very much in the mindset to reach for new opportunities and work hard to do so. As lively Mercury moves into Sagittarius and a more intense zone, there's an opportunity to look at what may be holding you back. What do you need to do to clear away blocks to progress? Talking things over can help. There is a full moon in your money zone on Wednesday, and this could encourage a desire to splurge. Investing in a massage or other soothing treatment may be more beneficial, though. This week sees lovely Venus linking to Saturn and Pluto, which could put you in a more business-like mood. If there is something you need to resolve, it will be easier to put your feelings to one side and make difficult decisions. This week also brings a very positive aspect that peaks over the weekend. Are you ready for something different? An exciting opportunity could open a door for you. If life seems intense, that might be because there's a lot going on in your sector of finances, deep soul bonds, and powerful emotions. Even so, as lively Mercury moves into Sagittarius and your sector of relating, getting out and about can recharge you. Time spent in good company can uplift you so you're ready to face any challenges. The full moon in your sign midweek can heighten feelings around a key bond, and this could bring an opportunity to clear the air. Are you ready for a romantic date? It could be a lot of fun. Luscious Venus in a powerful sector links to both prudent Saturn and cleansing Pluto. If you have a decision to make about a relationship, you will likely look at it from a business-like perspective. The give and take of any relationship may be a deciding factor. Trust your intuition this week and over the weekend, because doing so can pave the way for a powerful opportunity that might not come your way otherwise. Relationships may have been an issue for some while now, and tensions could be ratcheting up in one bond as luscious Venus moves between sobering Saturn and powerful Pluto this week. If you have a choice to make, it could be easier to put your feelings to one side and see things more objectively. This would be a wise thing to do. Chatty Mercury moving into your lifestyle sector on Monday means getting organized can be a priority and an aid to progress. If you're ready to jettison any bad habits, this is the perfect week to let them go and initiate new ones. The full moon midweek can be a call to lighten your schedule and take the opportunity to relax and unwind. It would do you good. A powerful aspect between jovial Jupiter and electric Uranus will be in focus this week and peak over the weekend. Accept invitations and welcome new encounters because they could bring information and opportunities that you will like. Your leisure zone becomes more buoyant this week as lively Mercury moves and enjoys the sun. There is no doubt that you may have a lot of work to do, especially as this holiday season gets underway. Nevertheless, it's important to get out, enjoy a life, do those things you love to do, and find ways to unwind. The midweek full moon in your leisure zone could coincide with the celebration, get-together, or seasonal event that's a lot of fun. Even so, spirits may be running high, so think before you promise anything or make commitments that you can't keep. You might have to be very business-like this week, particularly in your relationships with co-workers or clients, because this may be the only way to make progress. If you give your feelings priority, you could make the wrong decisions. Over the weekend, a fabulous aspect between Nuffy Jupiter and Electric Uranus could bring opportunities and encounters that enrich your life.
convivial energies in your home zone can get his holiday season off to a pleasant start. If you've been busy getting your place shipshape in recent weeks, this can be the start of a more sociable phase. Still, there is a strong emphasis on your sector of creativity, enterprise, and leisure, and if you have a lot of work to do, it could override other plans. The midweek full moon in your sector of goals and career can be an opportunity to make something public. Do you have a message you're eager to share? This is the time to do so because it could go viral. It's also possible that you'll need to make a decision about a relationship, and to do so you might need to forget your feelings and look at the facts. Friday can also bring an encounter that could have romantic overtones. Don't rush into anything, though. If you're ready for a golden opportunity, be alert this week, particularly over the weekend, because something good may be coming your way. There's a lot going on in an intensely personal sector of your chart, with four planets in Capricorn and your home zone. However, since Sapi Jupiter moved in last week, you may begin to feel more confident about finding solutions to any issues you're facing. As this expansive planet links with energizing Uranus, with the aspect peaking over the weekend, this is an excellent opportunity to get advice, because it can bring valuable insights. You could experience a major shift as a result of doing so. Someone may offer you exactly what you need, which could be a blessing in disguise. At the same time, go easy with your money as feisty Mars aligns with dreamy Neptune on Friday. You could be too generous and give away or spend more than you can afford. You might also need to set boundaries with certain family members if they have been taking you for granted. As lively Mercury moves into your money zone early in the week, it can encourage you to get organized, and this could be the best way to avoid overspending, especially around the time of the midweek full moon. Try not to micromanage everything. Just allow life to flow. Over this week, feisty Mars in your sign aligns with dreamy Neptune in your sector of leisure. You might prefer to relax with a movie or get involved in hobbies or other pleasures rather than get down to work. This might not be surprising, though, because with a packed house in your sector of talk and thought, you could have a lot on your plate. You do need time out to unwind, but not to the extent that you get behind. Still, with the very positive aspect and play that peaks on Sunday, you can benefit greatly from getting out and about. Encounters can sparkle with opportunity, and something good could come from one or more of them. As Mercury glides into your sign early in the week, its presence here can encourage you to enjoy the chance to socialize and connect. If there are people you haven't linked up with in a while, this might be a good time to do so. The full moon in your sector of relating could bring feelings out into the open, though, and this could make for some volatile conversations. However, if you have feelings for someone and find it hard to share, it could be easier during this lunar phase. When it comes to money, you might be in the mood to save rather than spend. Luscious Venus links to prudent Saturn and radical Pluto which could see you eager to be resourceful concerning seasonal spending. You might decide to make gifts or find other ways to cut back on general expenses. On Sunday, a positive Jupiter-Uranus link could coincide with an increase in income or perhaps a small windfall. The emphasis on your sign could put you under pressure, and you might be doing it to yourself. While upbeat Jupiter's presence in Capricorn can help you to feel more confident of success, it pays to understand your motives for taking on certain goals. The full moon in your lifestyle sector midweek can be a call to lighten your schedule and enjoy some pampering. Self-care and the break can leave you feeling relaxed and recharged. As feisty Mars aligns with Neptune later in the week, you could find yourself getting along well with someone. There could be indicators that a romance is imminent. In other relationships, though, you might be eager to keep your distance and set some boundaries, especially if you have decisions to make. One very dazzling aspect this week is lively Jupiter aligning with electric Uranus, which peaks over the weekend. An encounter could have soulmate potential, or an opportunity could be just what you're looking for. 
the focus on your inner life continues for some time, and it could also redefine you. As you change inside, you may notice that your outer life begins to shift, too, and this can be a revelation. Your social life is active, and you might find that attending events helps you feel more grounded, which can be important at this time. And with chatty Mercury moving into Sagittarius, this is very much a time to be adventurous and move in new circles. The full moon in your leisure and romance zone on Wednesday could coincide with an event that turns out to be a lot of fun. Feelings may run high, though, so avoid doing anything you might come to regret later. A very beneficial Jupiter Uranus link peaks over the weekend, and this could see you gaining powerful insights into yourself and key issues. This could change everything. Your social life is very busy, and you seem to have a lot of commitments and responsibilities associated with it. This week, as sweet Venus aligns with prudent Saturn and radical Pluto, you might be ready to set firmer boundaries and draw the line concerning your part and key activities. If you've been doing too much, it might be time to encourage others to do their share. The full moon in your social zone on Wednesday could bring domestic drama to the fore if it has been bubbling away. This is your opportunity to clear the air and find a way forward. This period can be great for entertaining at home as well. With upbeat Jupiter aligning with revolutionary Uranus on Sunday, a collaboration with someone you know could prove very beneficial, and it might lead to something even more exciting in the future. This can be a great time to pool ideas and work as a team.